Coming Gogos Koteni exposes Pastor Mkuba and gives her some advices while at the same time exposing Pastor Mkuba's husband. Hello, Super Relax Squad. Please don't forget to subscribe or like the page. Now, you guys, Gogos Koteni is not happy at all after Pastor Mkuba told her congregation that Gogos Koteni tried to invite her on her podcast and she won't be doing that nonsense because because she doesn't want to associate herself with the dark world. She does not want to associate herself with Ndumbas, you guys. And she is not trying to fit in at all. Obviously, Gogos Koteni was not impressed at all. She made a video, you guys, addressing Pastor Mkuba. She went as far as telling her that she should stop being the man of the house so that her husband can stop doing doing the unthinkable outside of their marriage anyway you guys take a look at this again you guys apologies if you hear some raindrop sounds it is actually raining here and low shedding at the same time it is just a lot but take a look at this you guys Sabona pastor i am not a certain gogo my name is gogos kotini in zwagatlamini slash shan i'd like to come to you in the form of respect as a pastor as umama and i believe umama and umzali nagim well i'm here to inform you and to tell you that you were invited by my producer for you to come on the venting podcast to share your knowledge and the scriptures that you might have with the world you declining the invite was enough but you coming on social media to act relevant Nizangoma was a downfall. Let me tell you this. Unkulukulwa ishe li tafli naba fudi bag. And a lady came at umgeza inyao. And the history yale, yale umutu esfazana was very bad. And aba fudi bag started complaining. He said, Ndalini miegel. Who are you to judge us? Let me give you a free advice. There are so many women esodon lako who are married. And mentally, they are being abused by their husbands. They are not happy. Mentally, they are being abused by their belief in their religion, which is Christianity, and they are not happy. Concentrate more into making sure Oguti, your congregation is happy and mentally and spiritually they are fit. Also, concentrate in the Niako. Hmm. Do I need to say more? Sit down with your husband and make sure you understand and stop overpowering him because he's still the man of the house. If you don't want him to continue doing what he's currently doing, then make sure you sit down and talk to him. Also, Chala iso ndo kutuma ukula what is it that you did that made you now umusu mtala go back to God and kneel down. Nobody's judging you. Nobody's judging you about the things that you used to do. Nobody's judging you ngalu mkabu o now because they do not know. If the church thinks I'm lying, Bachel goods back kumuli se back pegge from him time in back pegge from his and back pegge from a call on a say na say move a then I'll humbly apologize if you do not have and if you have proven that you do not have. Concentrate ebandli nilako and preach the word of God. Bring people to Christ and leave Ubungoma alone. With all your respect, this is Ukokus Koteni and this is Lamin. At this point, Pastor Mkuba would think maybe Gokos Koteni was planning to do this thing all along, you guys. Have you ever, like, provoked someone and they come back with a whole bomb, you guys? Like, they come for your whole village. Like, what? I cannot believe this, you guys. So, Gokos Koteni claims that Pastor Mkuba is actually seeing Sangomas, you guys, behind the scenes. He is doing dirty things. The dark 
back things when her congregations are just at home relaxing okay she is also claiming that Pastor Mkuba, he is not listening to her husband, you guys. She's actually being a, a, a man in her marriage. She is advising her to stop that because it's not a good thing. Pastor Mkuba acting like a man um, in, the, in the marriage it drives her husband outside to do things that um, Gogos Koteni is not revealing. But honestly, I will, I, I will just assume cheating because what else can um a husband do out of their marriage you guys like honestly what that is cheating obviously that is just my assumption you guys so gogos Koteni is claiming that pastor mkuba is not the person we think she is because she is getting a um, mootis from sangomas and the mutis the things that she gets from the sangomas are the things that um god here today are the things that god had um this big today that is why she have like thousands and thousands of people uh, believing that she is a child of god that is the power um that is the power of uh, sangomas you guys and Gogo koteni also claims that a pastor Mkuba should also focus on the women that are married in her church you guys because the women that are married they are actually being abused in front of her eyes so this are uh, the things that she should be focusing on and leave her alone crazy right Gogos Koteni says that the fact that Pastor Mkuba declined the invite, honestly, it was enough, you guys. But for her to like talk about her still and saying saying that she won't be associating herself with the dark world, with the Ndumbas, and she is not trying to fit in, um, it was just too much, you know. It is just too much. Like it was just so um unnecessary for her to do that because declining the invite declining the invite it was enough the message got to gokos koteni so she don't get it why would um pastor mkuba go ahead and say those things about her you guys i don't know what you guys think about this whole thing i just feel like oh my goodness now we are used to like Sangomas fighting. We are used to Abo Gogos Koteni fighting Abo Gogo Maweni. And now it's going to be like Amadrozi and Christ, you know? It's going to be like, yo, uh, it's going to be too much. It's pastors and Sangomas that will be really, really interesting and dirty because we know that they are um pastors who are out there like um preaching and saying people should not go to Sangomas while behind the scenes they are doing the thing. They are not practicing what they are preaching so if you are a pastor and you're gonna come for a sangoma be sure that like 100 percent you are not using muti at all 100 percent you are not associating yourself with a sangomas because i just believe that even if you're not going to gokos koteni but the fact that you went to a sangoma um gokos koteni would know some sangomas would know because i'm sure if um let's say for instance gogo maweni helps a big pasta you know um they would tell their other um sangomas you guys they will tell other their colleagues who are yo i just helped this big person so obviously everyone would know then you would be the topic you guys but i know you guys to comment down below let me know what do you guys think about this whole drama